welcome students for my lecture number 56. Uh, you might have uh, heard my earlier lecture in which I talked of the machines for land drainage, land reclamation and state uh, maintenance uh, machines. Now I discussed that there are, uh, we have kept these in different parts and the second part uh, which I will be dealing uh, with now. Well, here we would like to see some of the specific machines which have been used for some specific requirements. Uh, it is essential for you to know that uh, these many a times we talk of what exactly is this land drainage and then land reclamation as I said and estate maintenance. Land drainage is one which is very important. Uh, when you are talking of irrigation equipment and you are doing irrigation, sometimes so much of water comes that you would like to drain that water otherwise the crop will simply get inundated the field and then uh, even the crop which is there either it is a bush crop or it is a um, cash crop or whatever. So in order that uh, we should have machines which will uh, drainage or which will remove the water as and when required. So for that we have uh, machines which are called drainage machines. Sometimes we would like machines that they should make holes because sometimes we are talking of uh, orchard plantations. At that time we would like that number of holes should be created of a certain size. So we would have certain machines for that. Now um, uh, with these uh, background I think uh, let me go through the lecture which I have prepared for you and we will have more discussion as in when we come to that. Well, what is state maintenance? Yeah, this is one subject uh, which you, as an agriculture engineer maybe you would say that uh, where is the relevance of that but I think it has a great relevance here because uh, we, we are talking a process of preserving an extensive area of land. This is what uh, is the state maintenance is. Uh, the requirement of state maintenance machinery, what are the requirements? See we have jotted down I think it is worth uh, going through it for the time being so that at least uh, you understand what exactly we mean by these. See the heavy pulls, supposing you are trying to uh, use this then for stone clearance, lot of stones are there, you would like to clear those things for uh, cutting and scrubbing uh, or clearing of the materials for you would like that something has to be done for this. Then flail hedge and verge trimming, you might require sometimes maybe trim, trimming of the trees, some of the trim, uh, trimming of uh, short bushes, maybe some of the hedges which are there you would like to clean them for that you will require. As I so, uh, told you earlier hole digging, maybe you will require holes for uh, plantation. So level of plantation you would require at different sizes and all. So you would like to the machines for that. Uh, fencing, yes, fencing posts, many a times we require fencing posts because when we have to do fencing of that, there also you require heavier posts and those uh, need, holes need to be made. Now it is, uh, uh, once we are talking of mechanization, we have to have machines which will do these operations uh, very fast and that is why it is essential that uh, we must use these machines instead of uh, going for manual and as such uh, uh, there is no point talking of manual as such because the people are not available and uh, digging a hole uh, even if for, for 2 feet or 3 feet hole it will require a lot of um, uh, time of a human being and the equipment sometimes some of the equipment which is not possible. That is why uh, we need to um, get the right kind of machines and with right kind of power source for clearing and uh, doing the job at the fastest uh, time that we can do. Road sweeping and slurry clearance sometimes you know, it is also possible that sometimes slurry of the refuse of uh, power plants or some other things uh, when you require and need to do and uh, sweeping of the roads maybe sometimes a lot of uh, say because of the storm etc. when the um, uh, bushes or when the trees fall into that maybe you will require machine for clearing that. So you can talk of road sweeping with virtually cleaning of that. So this, these are the requirements of state maintenance uh, machinery. Uh, what, what are the types which are available? Well uh, we will show you what are these but then have a list of uh, these. For example the tractor winches which is required sometimes when you want to feed, you know, pull the bigger um, uh, logs of food and all that and you require these winches which are connected one location and then they are pulled by the heavy power machinery I will show you. The tractor operated stone pickers, yeah, some of these 
uh, stones which are there, we need to pick the bigger ones could be there and uh, we need to clean and we need to pick up that. Rotary slashers, see sometimes uh, on the air, uh, air uh, track or the uh, maybe that uh, lawns or gardens, uh, we would like to maintain a certain uh, coverage of um, growth of uh, grass, not that very high. So, for that we, we have machines which are known as rotary slashers. slashers. Then the rotary cutters, maybe they are the, these could be called cutters as well when there is slightly higher uh, this thing. Then post hole digger as I said that for um, digging the holes, you they are known as post hole digger. Tractor mounted towing trolley, yeah some of the, uh, sometimes you would like to carry uh, maybe about uh, 200, um, 150, 200 uh, kg of material and in short duration of time in, in a less uh, location and less place then such uh, trolleys are also useful to us. We have these machines and we would like to have a look uh, that you should uh, appreciate where they are used and how they are used. See the tractor winches, as, as I told you that uh, these machines are very much essential. For example, you see here that uh, this is, these are the um, wood logs which are there. Now, they are connected in fact uh, through this rope arrangement uh, through this and they are to the power source they are very much connected. You can see here that they are connected, they are connected here and these are the um, places where they have been tied down because this otherwise it is not possible to carry the, um, uh, these. So, these are used for very heavy pull, you are trying to pull this, uh, uh, this heavy uh, size of logs uh, to certain extent or to some location or uh, you would like to pull them and then later on they can be lifted on the uh, um, some of the towers and uh, can be lifted to another location or put into trucks for um, transportation etc. it is possible. Then winch, what are the components of this? See the um, winch drum, now this is, this is the winch drum which is uh, here which has been shown here. Then uh, the wire ropes as I showed and told you that these are the wire ropes which are there these locations because these are very strong and mind you that these uh, ropes are uh, proper designed ropes. These ropes are just not uh, any rope which can be used because on the basis of the strength of this itself is the um, load which you have here will be pulled. Otherwise, even if you, uh, the tractor is of a high horsepower and you do not have these uh, ropes which are strong enough, they will not be able to um, uh, pull this. So, we have the uh, winch drum on both the locations here and the other details. So, this is one equipment which is used for clearing the ground. Now, as in the series of this we are telling you what are the things which are uh, used and uh, let us see what are other things which have been used. Uh, tractor operated stone picker, well uh, you can see here that the stones are there and uh, now mm, you, these need to be picked up uh, because uh, it is essential that it is not possible to mm, uh, broom them off and all that and many uh, locations these stones need to be removed uh, for clearing the ground or for clear uh, making the whole mm, location uh, acceptable and uh, to the requirement of the job which is, uh, mm, which is planned for the future. So, mm, is, is used for stone picking yes and definitely as the name suggests. Then what are its components, the various components of this? Well, uh, it is connected, you can see that this is connected to the tractor over here and it is simply pulled here. Hydraulic system, yes, uh, it has to be the um, hydraulic system power or hydraulic power which has to be used as I told you earlier and it was very nice that we, we um, uh, introduced you the hydraulic circuit which, has, which was told to you earlier because this is the one which will be required quite often in all these uh, heavy machinery, wherever it is, whether you are talking of lifting cranes, bigger cranes which are lifted, uh, which are lifting some of the, uh, uh, you can say that some of the uh, used material, sometimes um, uh, when there is accidents you might find bigger uh, um, cranes which are used, sometimes cranes are used for lifting people to locations and remove them from, uh, uh, from some of the uh, problems which has take place particularly if some burn uh, say the um, fire has taken place and there you would like to remove people. So, some of these things which will be required. So, rotary picking and then uh, collecting unit. 
here this is a, a rotating unit which picks and then collection collection and these collections will be put at one location and then later on you can be these can be pulled and uh, discharged at one location. The very specifications of the one which I have shown over here are the width is about 150 um, uh, centimeters 1.5 meter. The speed at which these are to be taken well this is a tentative speed which is given from 3 to 6 because many a times when the um, when it is very heavy there you will require that uh, lower speed but it, it has to be um, pulled and then if these um, these stones etcetera were smaller then uh, maybe up to 6 kilometer 7 kilometers can be used minimum rock diameter uh, 5 centimeter well this this has uh, hardly any meaning although um, out of literature if you find such things are there but then this doesn't have any meaning as such what exactly is required is we need to remove those uh, those boulders or small stones which are there need they need to be picked up and then they need to be removed so as such um, uh, definitely we will talk of a size it's not that um, we are talking of very big ones but if you can look at these you will find that uh, yes this is required for such work and hence a minimum and a maximum situation is given for such a, um, a machine if the is a very big boulder maybe it will be of the size of this then definitely we are not talking of uh, uh, lifting or picking such a thing. So, there is a relevance of giving this uh, minimum and maximum size of the um, rock or the um, uh, stones which are to be picked. Well, uh, rotary slasher actually um, as I said um, for grass and weed cutting many a times um, as such when we call of weeds particularly more relevance uh, in a crop field. But then when we are talking of grasses, uh, you see, when we are talking of grasses, we are talking of uh, maintenance of a lawn, maintenance of a uh, aero, um, aircraft uh, landing uh, place, etc. or uh, any um, orchard which is um, there and where lot of grasses are there in between the uh, plants or the bushes, we would like to clean. The what, what are the different components of this? Well, the components are simple. In fact, this is a, a tractor um, drawn unit and it has this particular unit where we have beneath this we have the rotary blades which are there. So, it is connected uh, via uh, you can see here that the PTO and the from this is a cotton shaft which is used and on both sides uh, through this PTO is a, is a hooks joint. So, these joints are connected and then it comes to this uh, gearbox here. So, a certain speed we are getting from the PTU and that speed um, is um, you can say manipulated to get the right kind of speed which is required for this particular uh, uh, RPM of this. So, we are getting about 540 RPM or depending upon what we have for the tractor which is there. So, about uh, and there are two blades in this maybe we will show you the operation of uh, this uh, now and you will be uh, then you can appreciate what it is. There is a guard here yes. This is important so that sometimes uh, when uh, this cutting maybe that uh, the stones etcetera which are there may, may fly off and it may hit the people or the uh, persons if somebody is around. So, that is why there is a proper guard is there and also for whatever cut material is there will cut material will not be thrown off into the air, but it will because these are meant for um, actually Mm, you can say carpet like maintenance uh, mm, for the mm, for the grass which is there. These are not meant for very heavy uh, mm, tall uh, grasses maybe 3, 4, 4 feet or so. Uh, for them in fact, we use uh, flail mowers uh, which are having um, uh, actually about 1 and a 1 and a half feet uh, mm, uh, uh, chains and those chains um, are useful for cutting of the those taller ones, but these are meant for a carpet uh, sort of a operation and carpeting of the grasses. So, uh, these are you can say the finer ones and the more sophisticated um, sort of use for such equipment. Uh, we may like to give you a um, operation of this. So, You can have uh, you can see that this uh, you can see here that uh, the carbon shaft is rotating taking power from the PTU there and this is the whole uh, slasher here below this we have the blades which are there two blades are there in this and the rotary uh, 
uh, plates which are there and at the end the plates are connected. We will see the operation of this when it is starts moving. Yes, uh, it is started moving. Now, you can see that the carpet virtually you can see here that what is the type of uh, grass which has been um, uh, created. Now, you, you do not know even where is the grass which goes. Uh, maybe once uh, these are uh, removed, you will find that uh, proper lines are there on the two sides here. There are lines which can be easily corrected because um, the uh, it is simply um, uh, topping off. You are simply topping off the grass which is there. You can see the condition which has been made. And uh, uh, well, the um, grasses need uh, the blades need to be taken care of properly. Sharpening of the blades is important. And uh, you can see that where are those uh, locations where uh, the whole thing is in, in operation now. Well, uh, this is uh, this is what a rotary slicer is, and uh, it is meant for certain specific purpose as such for uh, operation. It takes power from the PTO of the tractor. We know the PTO um, power is about um, uh, 540 rpm, and in fact, you know that uh, the maximum power we get from the PTO. So, um, uh, you better utilization of the power of the tractor is done through such machines if they are utilized for longer duration of time. So, better matching could be these uh, equipment which are used. The rotary cutters or boom mowers. Sometimes uh, we are we would like that uh, the uh, the whole uh, tree. Sometimes trimming of the trees are required, and uh, maybe it's not possible that uh, people can go on top of this and then trim it. But then this, um, machines are available and these machines can uh, um, uh, do the job of uh, trimming. Uh, well, here uh, these are uh, as such it is written here, you can have a look at this, it is used for overgrown and neglected hedges to reduce them to the reasonable uh, proportion. Well, um, either to maintain the beauty of that area or to see that they do not fall into the electrical lines and all that which may um, come into picture and that is why. Uh, you can see here that they are meant for cutting and trimming of the uh, plants, uh, bigger plants. The component, you, um, regardless of what you have, the hydraulic machinery, the hydraulic system is definitely one of these and you should know. So, um, I would like to tell you here that uh, hydraulic um, system, you must be very clear and uh, um, good uh, knowledge about the hydraulic system when you are talking of or you are thinking of even uh, changing or design or designing a new type of equipment for any uh, earth moving machinery or for uh, such task like uh, trimming of the trees or even for um, harvesting of some of the fruits. We had talked in one of the lectures about harvesting of fruits. If you want that maybe that your hydraulic system will be used and the person can go closer and then uh, harvest those uh, fruits so that they do not fall and if they fall the uh, quality will be deteriorated. So, even for that you would uh, definitely require the hydraulic system here and uh, which takes power from the um, uh, tractor power, tractor uh, itself. Now, the maximum reach horizontal is 5.5 meter and maximum reach vertical 4.8. Now, these are some of the important things which, uh, um, which are to be, uh, to be taken into consideration depending upon the size of the um, uh, tractor that you have, size I mean the power of the tractor. And then also the um, CG of this tractor, see depending upon the CG of this which is very important. See you cannot go um, as high as possible, see that is why there is a cap on the um, vertical and the horizontal distances. Otherwise there, um, there is every chance that this particular um, machinery will topple, uh, the CG will change because they are narrow, um, uh, narrow um, uh, track uh, machines um, and uh, therefore it is very essential to maintain this uh, maximum and uh, uh, maximum reaches in the horizontal and vertical uh, direction, very, very important. Uh, well, uh, other guards are definitely important because um, until unless you have the guards, maybe that whatever is being cut uh, will be um, thrown and it will thrown on to, uh, maybe the chips could come on to the person itself who is uh, involved in the system or uh, sideways or it may be thrown off uh, onto the atmosphere or to other locations and um, scattered everywhere. So, we would like that this uh, sort, um, sort of things must be taken care of carefully and understood before they are being used for your purpose.
Well, another thing which, uh, which I said earlier is the post hole digger. This is one equipment which is very uh, extensively used in, in most of the operations, uh, particularly for orchards uh, uh, development and uh, different types of plantations which we want to have. Uh, because uh, as I said, uh, making a hole of about uh, 4 inches, 5 inches diameter or 6 inches diameter and about uh, 50 centimeter, 60 centimeter uh, depth is not easy. Uh, you require some of the equipment which manually it is very, very tough and that is why uh, these equipment which is known as post hole digger is one which is um, one which is very uh, commonly used. Now, it takes power, um, you can see here that it takes power from the um, PTO of the tractor. See here, this is the uh, from the PTO of the tractor. It is uh, taking the power and uh, it connected to the uh, three-point linkage here. And uh, a, um, see, this is the power here, and this is a um, particular blade. You can see that uh, uh, which which will have certain diameter. You can see this is in the form of a auger. You must have seen augers, so they keep on moving. And uh, this will uh, once I saw the operation of this, you will appreciate that yes. The um, these augers actually churn out the material um, as um, they go down uh, while uh, um, giving a certain force of this and take the material and then ultimately this uh, comes out. So the um, the specifications of this so the telescopic shaft definitely we have a telescopic shaft as I told you here and uh, both sides just like the earlier one since we are taking power from the um, tractor PTO this is the only method you have to have a carbon shaft or a telescopic shaft which, uh, uh, which can be extended. Now, telescopic shafts particularly, so uh, they, they can be extended depending upon the um, length. That is why uh, it is telescopic here, it can, you can see here that you can increase the length. And uh, the, uh, the connection here to here is through the um, uh, universal hooks joint which is employed. And this is the digger, uh, the, the digging blade which is there. The auger length is varying, uh, varying length, but generally you will find uh, these about 76 uh, centimeter or so. The auger type is a screw type of auger as if this screw moves inside and then you get the values. Thickness of the auger sheet um, uh, is generally 3 to 4 millimeter. That means this is the auger which is there and the thickness of the blade which is there has about 3 to 4 millimeter is the thickness of that. It is important because uh, these are made of special uh, material. In fact, uh, I have planned another lecture which I will be uh, telling you at the end of this uh, course because uh, about the material. What are the materials which are required for uh, which part of the or which component of particular equipment. So, the, the, these materials of this auger is very important because it has to sustain, cut the soil and then get inside and remove the soil. So, lot of scouring of uh, the uh, these blades takes place uh, while they are going to different types of soils. Sometimes they will go into sandy soil, sometimes they will go into hard soil, sometimes they will go into stony soils and things like that. So, um, we need to look into this and we need to see that uh, they remain strong uh, enough and that is why the, uh, the material of construction of this is a special material which is used. Maybe that uh, we would like to show you the working of this particular equipment. Let us see, let us see, yeah, yeah, you can have a look at this how it is connected. You can see that this is connected to this side from here and then uh, this is the auger. Now, we will see how this uh, operates. You can, the power will come to the PTO through this carbon shaft and then from here to this box here and then it will come to this, yes, they see the operation here. You can use it anywhere you want. Of course, uh, we are not talking of uh, completely stony land, but then definitely we are talking of um, the, the places where uh, such um, soil is there. You, this is a softer soil it appears and that is why it is easier to make um, this particular hole easy. Maybe the, um, the capacity, their capacity depends on several uh, um, of holes of a certain size per hour. So, they are uh, known as as per their capacity and as per the size of these plates which are important. Um, uh, this is an equipment which will help you in uh, making it as early as possible. So, um, uh, you can have a look at this. The 
speed at which you want to remove the material. You can see the material has been totally removed, then it is uh, cleaned and later on you can go to another hole uh, and uh, so on. Complete. Uh, Well, so this is about the post hole digger. Uh, now, another tractor mounted towing trolley, we, this uh, we have developed at IIT Kharagpur. In fact, it is not a big uh, job done, but then this is the one which we are using it. Uh, and uh, for uh, you can see that um, in a small area, in a small locations, if you want to have, uh, you can use this thing. The um, length is about 1.5 meter width is 0.5 meter and loading capacity goes up to 250 kg or so. And this is very handy, it is connected to the 3 point linkage of the uh, tractor and uh, transport, transport materials, you can be um, the fertilizer, seeds, um, oil drums, several things. We may um, have a look at uh, the uh, working of such a equipment here, a very handy equipment. So, um, and uh, uh, well, Although um, these equipment uh, are uh, um, available, the, the knowledge of agriculture engineer or the ingenuity of the agriculture will be on the use of them. What is required at what time, when uh, will a particular item will be used. Not necessarily that uh, if you have the bulldozer or if you have the dozers, you can use it at each and every time because they have the power and all that. But sometimes um, for short duration depending upon the requirement you can uh, keep um, changing this. Let us have a look at this video uh, if you have. Yeah, I, I think uh, some material is being transported you can have a look at this some material is being transported here and uh, it is easy. Uh, we can maintain a certain angle to this so that it will not fall and uh, it does not require so much of a space about 1.5 meter width only uh, the um, of this particular item. Uh, the video gives you a lot of uh, in information uh, uh, if, if depending upon what you want to do. So, in this well, you can use for any other um, requirement if you have. So, I can tell you that uh, in these uh, specific equipment that we have talked so far, it is very essential that we keep these uh, into, at, uh, into our knowledge and try to see what machinery is required, how um, cost effective a particular machinery will be for the job that is there, whether you want to uh, create a park, whether you want to create orchards or uh, what is the or disposal of material and bulldozing of materials uh, or uh, you can say plain land and etc. So, this all depends on what you have. The information is paid to you and now it is on you to um, look into these and try to use. I hope you will have uh, several questions many a times because as an engineer we are not going into um, uh, uh, the more details of the mechanics of the system. The system has been told to you now, what, uh, what is the type of job it can do and what are its more um, important components, where they can fail, you must have an idea about this. You must know what are the critical um, components which should be kept in inventory, so that uh, if it is required it can be replaced immediately and the system will work. So, these are very important things which you must have. I am sure that you will like to um, have uh, questions which we can uh, uh, handle at any time that is required. And I think uh, we will close here and thank you very much.